Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Smartphone Tutorials, a place where we keep trying new and exciting stuff with our beloved device which is Pocophone for these days at least. We will have a new phone coming up. But nonetheless, in today's video, we are going to install H2OS Beta 1. This is sort of an alpha or beta build if you may and there might be or there will be and there are a few bugs which may not allow you to use it as a daily driver. So I highly recommend you take this with a pinch of salt and give it a try at your own risk. But well, that's what my job is. That's where I come into the picture to show you guys without wasting your time. How does a beta software look or how does it perform or what are the features that are working? So in today's video, let's install H2OS beta 1 on the Pocophone F1. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. let's get going. Alright guys, so it's time for another video as always on the Pocophone F1. It is not usual for me to, you know, go ahead and make an install and preview on a couple of ROMs which are not really, really ready for a daily driver material. But what we see over here is the install and preview of H2OS Beta 1. Now there are a few bugs when it comes to this particular ROM. I will take you through those before we start the installation on this particular ROM. So first things first, let's talk about the things that work. We have RIL, that means network calling mobile data, SMS, dual SIM, dual voice over LTE is working. Fingerprint is working. Wi-Fi 2.5, 5G is working. Hotspot is working. Hidden SSID is working. Miracast is working. Bluetooth works fine. LED works fine. GPS works fine. And almost all sensors are working fine. Video playback is working, hardware decoder is working, audio recording is working, playback is working and OnePlus Audio Tuner doesn't work properly. So that's the only known issue as of now and you can of course use Gcam on this. It's because there might be some bugs which are not discovered yet but this is an excellent port of H2OS for the Pocophone F1. So let's quickly go here and install it. Now, before we begin, you of course need an unlocked bootloader. You need to have at least 50% battery, backup, backup all your important information. Nobody would be responsible for the data loss. And once you're booted into TWRP, you need to have the files ready. Now, when we talk about the files, the procedure is similar to yesterday's procedure. This is not a procedure wherein you would flash a zip file and install it, but there is a file linked in the description. You need to go ahead and download it and using WinRAR, extract it in a particular location and then go to the internal storage of your phone and copy that folder to the TWRP folder. So if you see over here, first things we need to do is wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data. Don't wipe internal storage. Now once the wipe is complete, we will go to restore, select this folder h2os underscore beta1. No changes to be made over here. Swipe to restore. Now this is an Android restore and although this is a pretty pretty fast smartphone, it will take five to seven minutes for the restore to complete. Wait for the restore to be done and then we will proceed. All right, now as you can see over here, we are done restoring everything. So let's hit reboot system. Now the first boot of course will take say two to three minutes. If you see this boot animation, that means yes, you have succeeded in installing H2OS Beta 1 or rather restoring an Android backup now, this is a very, very dim boot animation. Usually the boot animation glows in a much, much better way on AMOLED devices like the OnePlus 660 because I have used uh, H2OS in the past. All right, now as you see over here, we have booted up. So we'll quickly skip through the setup over here. Now remember, do not attempt to set up face data or face unlock because that will not work. And that might give you some problems. Here we are on the home screen of h2os all right so first things first let's go to about this is oneplus 5t beta 25 
So this is based off the OnePlus 5T Beta 25, but it is H2OS. And what we will do over here is let's check the applications that we have. We don't even have the camera application installed. So I've not thoroughly tested this ROM. If you want me to review this ROM, let me know in the comment section. But uh, when we talk about basing things, we do have voice over LTE notified over here. So let's hit 198 and let's make a call. All right, so that's my secondary SIM card. My primary SIM is here before you laugh. And uh, yes, so calling is working fine. And even this, although it is based on OnePlus 5T, to me, it looks very, very smooth and very, very fluid. Let's go to theme here and let's switch it to dark and let's make it say red accent color. There you go. So more or less all the things over here are working just fine, including calling. And I'm pretty sure as this is based on Android 9 Pie, Gcam would work just fine as well. So more or less now, if you want me to test Wi-Fi, although the developer has said that Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and everything else works. So say if we go to Wi-Fi over here, there you go. See? It says turning Wi-Fi on. So that's what the problem I had in the last time as well. And uh, that is the reason I mentioned that, you know, this may not be your daily driver material. But if you want to try this, if you want to get a feel of how H2OS Beta 1 looks on your Pocophone F1, this is the procedure you would follow. And, you know, you're more than welcome to give it a try. We do have a lot of videos coming up. We will be trying out Lineage OS, Havoc OS. We will be trying out One UI, Samsung's One UI. That's another video. And then an Android Q video should be coming out tomorrow or day after as well. So let me know in the comment section if you liked this video. And if you did, please do like. And if you wish, consider donating. The link is mentioned in the description. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.